what trips me out on this situation that I want to be real about. Um, uh, this, I mean, I've been protesting the error of this ch church system for a long time. And this church is operating in so much spirit of error that John talks about in 1 John. It's crazy. It's crazy to what extent of the error that is going on in the church right now. And those that operate in error will not find will not seek and find out the truth like it talks about in uh, 1 John, that it talks about the spirit of error and the spirit of truth. Either you're operating in the spirit of error or you operate in the spirit of truth. And the thing is, but as what true revelation, those that know what true revelation from God is pretty much revealing what's already that has been established by God. I mean, God prophesied this in Genesis about the woman, you know, uh, with the seed of a woman shall bruise the serpent's head. I mean, God prophesied this. God told us in Genesis 1.14 to see the signs in the heavens. Paul, of course, you know, I want to get started on my, you know, uh, teaching, what I'm talking about concerning uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 will explain what is supposed to happen concerning uh, September 23rd. Um, it says, but, but, but now, now notice it's in the first Thessalonians four, it mentions, talks about the rapture. It talks about the rapture in first Thessalonians four, but, but Paul says, but on uh, Thessalonians five to uh, pretty much, you know, uh, that it is it, it's interrupting the ideal of the catching that we will meet Jesus in the air. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and but it says, but you know, uh, of the times and of the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you for yourself know perfectly that that day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Now, he's talking about this. He's talking about what uh, he's explained on the fourth verse, I mean, the fourth chapter, in, uh, uh, through uh, 16 and 17. He's talking about this. Now, watch this. Now, he says, for when they shall say peace and security, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as the travailing a woman with child, and they shall be no escape. He is talking about what's going to happen very soon. You know what I'm saying? What's going to happen very soon concerning the birth of this woman in travail uh, in Revelation 12. I mean, he's talking about it and uh, and what now, what I really want to talk about really more importantly about to read uh, the instructions that Paul has given the church in uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, read the whole thing. The, the instructions is there, what we're supposed to be doing and what we're supposed to perceive. Now, I'm going to first explain to you that this is not talking about the rapture. Because watch this. It says in the 23rd that it says, and very and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, it's saying unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Not that it's going to happen right there. It says unto the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. See what I'm saying? It's, it's saying concerning of 1 Thessalonians uh, 4 and 16 and 17. You know what I'm saying? That's why I want to get clarified, that idea. 
is unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But Paul, throughout the um, letters, told us that we're supposed to get ready for war. We're supposed to put on the whole armor of God. It says in Ephesians uh, uh, 6 and, thir and 12, put on the whole armor of God. And it also says in Ephesians 13, put on the whole armor of God again because an event, an event is going to happen again. Oh, look what he says in the eighth verse in 1 Thessalonians 5. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet of the hope of salvation. He's telling him, put on armor again. You know what I'm saying? On armor again. And you can read 2 Corinthians 6. It talks about, you know, putting on armor of righteousness. Or, you know what I'm saying? And and you can go to Romans 13, tells us to put on the armor of light. You know what I'm saying? All, all these armor scriptures and at, that Paul has told us it is written in the word of God. But yet, y'all want to listen to all what everybody has to say. Look, Paul said to Timothy, 2 Timothy 4, that this it shall comes a time that there shall be teachers with itchy ears putting out fables and not the truth. Paul warned us in the scripture that our teachers is putting out itchy ears and fables and not the truth. You, It's in the scriptures. And the thing is, I am presenting what is written. And, you know, the thing is, it's crazy. If you parallel uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 with 2 Corinthians 6, you read it for yourself. And and to Romans 13, uh, Romans 13, you know what I'm saying? When you put all this stuff together, you will find words that will fit together and match up to 1 Thessalonians 5 that will connect, of course, to the um, Revelation 12. You know what I'm saying? It is written. You know what I'm saying? The revelation is already there. God, the everybody, the apostles gave us everything as what uh, Paul said in the end of Acts that we're supposed to follow. No, 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 not the end of Acts, sorry. The end of Romans, it talks about that we're supposed to follow the prophets, follow the apostles to find out what true revelation is all about according to the scriptures. And the thing is, you know, I'm just revealing what the scripture says and it's always going to be about war. And, you know, I want to, you know, explain more to you. I know more about it, but I cannot explain more about it when you don't can't get this simple, you know, uh, dialogue that it says in uh, first uh, Thessalonians five and three that it mentioned about upon uh, as a woman, as a travail upon a woman with child. At, I mean, connected right with. You know, uh, Revelation 12, there's more to it. You know what I'm saying? Concerning scripture that, that the prophets put out there. The prophets prophesied it. Isaiah prophesied it in the 66. Um, so many prophets prophesy about the woman in travail. Jeremiah. Um, uh, a lot of prophets prophesied the woman in travail. So the thing is, there's so many, even the minor prophets mostly prophesied the woman in travail. You know what I'm saying? So there's more to it than what you think it is. But let, but really, uh, I, uh, Revelation 12 is speaking, giving us the answer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of what's really going to happen. Now, I want to talk about this, you know, uh, to give you a hint, you know, a little hint. But it says, you know, Peter, at the day of Pentecost, Peter was prophesying that those that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You know what I'm saying? Now, there's supposed to be a event that those that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And there's supposed to be an outpouring of the spirit supposed to happen soon. He prof Peter prophesied an outpouring of the spirit supposed to happen in the latter days. And he prophesied. Uh, uh, prophesy those that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. 
You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you know, those events never happen yet. But the thing is, we need to understand and follow the word of God. I'm just asking you to follow the word of God. I ain't asking you to follow me. I mean, I'm asking you to follow the word of God and see it for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And to understand for yourself concerning what this event, set, uh, September 23rd. Now, y'all know that we're not supposed to know when the rapture comes. You know what I'm saying? We're not supposed to know the date of the rapture. Y'all know that. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, it can't not be talking about a rapture when we're not supposed to know the date and know the hour. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, we need to follow the instructions of what the word of God says concerning to what it's saying concerning uh, Revelation 12. I mean, it talks about the ideal of war. I tell people it's war. You know what I'm saying? That Michael is going to fight and beat up uh, Satan again. Going to beat up Satan again. You know, he kicked him out of heaven. Now he's going to beat him up again. You know, and and the uh, it talks about the uh, saints, uh, those that you know read the eleven. You know what I'm saying? And they that uh, overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony that love not their lives to death, they shall rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and the inhabitants of the sea, for the devil comes down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that his he has such but such a short time that's what it says in revelations you know what i'm saying and in in the dragon saw and you know it's it's a war that's going to happen you know what i'm saying that it's it's going to get spiritual war is going to happen the, the principalities, the powers, the rules of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places, all these spiritual forces and natural forces are going to collide. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going to happen. You know, it, it, that's why Paul says, put on the whole armor of God in uh, uh, Ephesians 6. You know what I'm saying? That, that's why you're supposed to be fighting the principalities and the powers and the rules of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. It's no brainer that we're going to go to war with them. It's not, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, knowing that you're seeing a football team playing. They said that the Washington Redskins versus the uh, Dallas Cowboys. And you like, you know, what's going to happen? You know what I'm saying? Who's going to be playing? What's going to happen? They're presenting to you, you know, Michael the Archangel, Satan, what's going to happen. It's going to be a fight spiritual warfare and it's going to be a war between the light and darkness you know what i'm saying it's just that simple you know is everybody well, well huh huh nobody no preacher didn't say that no no famous preacher that put out books that people be buying up in the uh uh, uh like crazy never said that no but god's word said this you know what i'm saying and the thing is you need to be following god's word and get ready for war concerning what god's word said and get if those that of the light, what Paul is saying, get ready for victory. But I want to end this message with this. Now, in uh first uh in first Thessalonians uh five, guess what Paul says at the end of this that really gets on my nerves. Really get on my nerves. Paul said at the 27th verse, he said, I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all holy brother. Let me say it again. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all holy brother. That everybody that's of God, of, 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 of brothering, and he's talking about sisters, but brothering, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's supposed to know this. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's supposed to be aware of this, this event that is going to happen. But, you know, everybody's like, what's going to happen? The rapture? What's going to happen? This, that. No, it's going to be war. War, war, war. You got the answer. Study the scriptures that I put there, you know what I'm saying, on there, and make sense of it, you know, concerning it is written.
All right, that's the message. Hope you got it. To God be the glory. Him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.